Hi, in today's video I'm going to talk about why being a highly sensitive person can be one of your greatest strengths, especially if you're an artist. Last week I shared a video about how to find your artistic style. I explained the key to finding your style is understanding the reason why you paint. I asked seven artists to share where their motivation for painting comes from. Listening to their answers made me think deeply about why I'm an artist. For me, it comes down to one key trait that I've had my whole life, that of being a highly sensitive person. It occurred to me that all artists might share this trait to one degree or another, and that this high sensitivity might be at the root of why we feel compelled to create. If you're not one yourself, then you probably know one, as we make up about 20% of the population. What is a highly sensitive person, or HSP? We live with all of our senses on high alert. All our emotions are magnified. Sadness is deep sorrow and joy is pure ecstasy. You're very aware of your surroundings and highly perceptive and often feel other people's feelings as if they were your own. Growing up, I was told things like, don't take everything to heart, or you need to learn to have a thicker skin. It was almost treated as a disability, something that would cause me problems further down the road. We're deeply intuitive and experience life in Technicolor. It's not like we can do much about it anyway. It's a genetic trait, like that of having pale skin and red hair, or being left-handed. I got all of those too. As HSPs, we enjoy analyzing things and we can get lost in the tiniest of details, which I think can be a real benefit to painters. When I'm painting, this is what I'm doing. I become utterly absorbed in the minute details of whatever I'm creating. It's a twofold benefit, as it takes me away from all the stimulation of life. The world becomes quiet and calm, with one sole point of focus. Highly sensitive people need to find a way to process all that they experience, and we often suffer from overstimulation. We can get quickly overwhelmed by the world around us. We don't just have to be in a busy environment though to feel overwhelmed. Sometimes just being in the company of someone who's going through some kind of emotional turmoil can be too much, as we can perceive the slightest change in their expression or demeanor and we'll be very conscious of how they're feeling. I think that as a society, we've come to think of sensitivity as a flaw. It can get in the way of our ability to become ever more detached, efficient and robotic. We all too readily belittle the idealists, the dreamers, and the creators. This wasn't always the case though. In previous centuries, artists, philosophers, and poets were all admired for their sensitive contribution to society. Where would we be without Mozart, John Lennon, Monet? Our experience of life would surely be poorer. I'm not suggesting that HSPs are better than other people, but I would say that most HSPs have a genuine urge to create connection and meaning. And isn't this what all artists try to do? When a highly sensitive person tries to hide their sensitivity to fit in, we all lose. I've grown to love and accept my sensitivity. It's given me a very rich experience of life. I've learned that feeling things on a profound level is a strength, and I channel those feelings into my art. I use my paintings to try to capture the depth of these feelings and as a way to process them. My paintings often feature two subjects, as many of our deepest experiences are felt in relation to another person. I use human portraits, the female form, animals, or even the combination of the sea and sky to illustrate an emotion. I try to capture feelings like passion, friendship, joy, hope, and inner strength. I've learned that stripping back the details of my subjects 
help to reveal their essence and the emotion that they represent. This is how my reason for painting has led to my identifiable artistic style. When I paint a couple dancing, I'm really painting the connection between the two people, their love for each other and attempting to freeze in time the joy they felt in that moment. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give it a like and feel free to comment below. Are you a sensitive person and have you found that it's helped you as an artist? If you haven't seen my last video yet on how to find your style as an artist, then that's coming up next. That's all for now. Until next week, take care and stay creative.